Poet Technologies started September with an outstanding appearance at CIOE, which is a gathering of industry leaders in the semiconductor and optoelectronics industry. Joining me to discuss the event is the company's Senior Vice President of Product Management and North America General Manager Raju Kankapati. Raju, you made the trip to China for the conference. What impressions did you take away and how would you describe the reaction of attendees who saw the demonstrations at Poet's booth? Thanks, Adrian. First of all, it was a great show to see the optical industry come together at CIOE, which happened after a gap of three years due to the pandemic. Everyone was clearly excited to be back at the show. Poet and our joint venture partner, Superphotonics, we had a combined booth at CIOE where we showcased live demonstrations of our latest products, as well as static display of our full range of products and evaluation platforms. Since this was the first time several customers in China were able to physically see our engines in action, the reaction we got was incredible. I mean, our team was constantly busy at the booth, showing our demos and explaining our solutions to customers. Overall, it was a great show for us. Fantastic. And you stated that your interactions have led to many follow-ups or plans to continue conversations. What happens next in terms of these customer engagements? Sure. We had in-depth discussions with our existing customers and also identified a few new, new opportunities from the show. I mean, this was the first time we actually showcased an actual 400 gig module using our optical engines with a live demonstration of performance. So this was a QSAP DD module that we were showing live, and there were three major takeaways for our customers from this demo. First is the level of performance of our engines when they're integrated inside a module. That was outstanding. Second was the size of our engine, just how small and compact they are. And the third was the simplicity of the module design when using our engines. I mean, customers don't have to worry about any coupling or active alignments. So we have submitted proposals to at least three new customers to engage with them on our products. So we expect these discussions to lead to sample shipments in the next few weeks. And then the normal design cycle will follow after that. And as you mentioned, you weren't the only one on the POET team who attended CIOE. The company has an operations facility in Shenzhen where the conference was held. And that team was there at the booth meeting anyone who stopped by. And we're going to take a look now at their leader, Dr. Mo Jin Yu, who is Poet's Senior Vice President and General Manager in Asia. She will be seen here talking about that new, exciting 400G module in a QSF PDD form factor. And then I'll ask you again about it. To the audience, the audio quality in Dr. Mo's video here isn't great. We apologize for that, but I'm sure you understand her team didn't have video production at the top of mind during the conference. Still, the information conveyed is valuable. So let's see what she has to say. So this station, is about our 400G model solution, which consists one piece of integrated 400G RS chip and one piece of 400G TS chip. And this module is a simplified module which stop the firmware and the MCU control, but it will be enable us to do all the, all the chip evaluation. So this simplified module box has been Duplicate another one and plug it into the universal test box. So this is the simplified 400 module that we develop currently. So the light will be coming out from the other module and connected to its receiver. So this one is a back-to-back -back transmission. So as you can see that in this kind of configuration, the BEF noise flow is down to E to the power of minus 10. So that's a very significant improvement from minus to seven to minus 10, just by changing the test environment. So this means that our integrated chip, regardless of TX or RS, it will provide the excellent performance to meet the 800G module and 400G module without any problem, including the size as a QSM ED form factor. Raju, Dr. Mo explained the technical attributes of the 400G model there. Can you expand even more than you already have uh, and tell us what this product means for the port portfolio and eventually for the customer base? Sure. So in a typical product cycle uh, or with a product collateral, we provide evaluation boards and user interface to customers to test our engines. The true performance of our engines is eclipsed a bit in an evaluation board setting due to the long RF cables and multiple connectors in the setup. In this demo that Mo is talking about, 
we actually built a 400K QSFP DD module board and assembled our engines along with a DSP. So this represents the true implementation of our engines. I mean, we had our 400 gig transmitter engine going through two kilometers of single mode fiber and connected to the receive engine on the other end. I mean, the level of performance we were able to demonstrate is world-class with bit error rates better than one A power minus 10, which means one error and 10 power 10 bits. It gives more than enough margin for system companies to plan their network. I mean, this is encouraging some new customers to start module board designs to test our engines. So this demonstration actually was a truly showcase for the capabilities of our engines. Uh, and, you know, I think exactly what everyone uh, wants to hear and see. And we're going to see uh, a few more clips or photos now of Dr. Mo and her team with what is a very eye-catching display of the company's products. I think that showcase alone speaks to how far the company has come during the past year. We didn't have anything like that in 2022, and here it is, a long table, essentially of Poet products for sampling and for sale. So how did you feel seeing that uh, product display, and what does it say about the current state of operations to have these products ready to show? So we've been saying that 2023 is the year of commercialization for Poet and our joint venture Superphotonics. We have come a long way and overcome several hurdles to get to this stage. I and mean, we now have products ready for production. And the most encouraging part is we have actual customers that have placed orders for these parts. Both the Poet and Superphotonics teams, they worked really hard to get us to this stage. I mean, the challenge for us going forward is to ramp to high volume production and support these customers. So we are working towards that now, and we expect to be in full-blown production for some of our products in the next few weeks to few months uh, in the future. Great, and you know, as they say, seeing is believing, and sounds like Poet made some believers at the CIOE conference. And for you, uh, maybe you'll make some more in Scotland. Uh, tell us what you're gonna be doing there. Sure, yeah, there is the European Conference for Optical Communication, right, ECOC in uh, Glasgow uh, next week. I'll be there. I'll, I'm actually presenting at one of the market focus events talking about the semiconductorization of photonics and how that has to be done for the photonics industry to support the new applications. For example, the artificial intelligence, machine learning. I mean, you cannot scale to high volume production using the traditional active alignment techniques. So I'll be talking about that. And also I have several customer meetings lined up and uh, we have some supplier engagements and we're actually showcasing some of our products at supplier booths where we'll showcase our engines with the supplier's uh, other components. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Well, it sounds like you've got a jam-packed trip and you're gonna do great, uh, safe travels. Look forward to the update when we uh, get you back onto this side of, uh, of the ocean. Yeah, thanks, Adrian.